This is one of the world's great pot plants, also a pretty good garden plant. It's known as the ponytail plant. It actually comes from around Mexico, obviously sort of one of those desert plants. Develops this huge swollen base on it, which is basically a water storage organ. And it grows into effectively a small tree, mainly with one main trunk and then branched vertically towards the top. Great pot plant. The bit at the base will swell so much it'll often crack even a concrete pot in time, but hopefully you repot it before that happens. This is a bigger one in the ground. And believe it or not, they can get a lot thicker than this at the base, but they're a very curious plant indeed. Notice the very swollen base. Normally it comes up just as the one trunk and then branches. And you get this lovely foliage does seem to grow okay in many areas of Australia. Even though it's a desert plant, it seems reasonably tolerant of average garden conditions and brilliantly tolerant of pot plant conditions. This one is obviously setting a lot of seed. I think there's something like 14 heads here. Each head would have some thousands of seeds set in it. Now, this is a bit of a mixed up family. When plants are not mixed up, they're the same as people that are mixed up. That is that normally plants are both boys and girls at the one time. So most flowers, in fact, are both boy and girl flower together. We'd regard that as pretty unnatural. But sometimes plants are like us. And, and, and this is an example of one that appears to be very much like us. This is a girl plant. It's set the seeds, which means it's, it's pregnant at the moment. And there's a couple more of these around the garden that are boy plants that produce the flowers that just produce pollen. So this one, as I say, conforms rather better to the genteel way we see of sexual activities. A girl plant and a boy plant over there. But nonetheless, I think some of these may be a bit both ways. But there you are. This is the plant. You should remember it. It's a great pot plant. It's fabulous if you've got a succulent garden, but it's a wonderful accent plant. Will survive almost forever in a pot with this swollen base that stores water. It, it, it almost never dies. The ponytail plant. There's been a lot of toing and froing with its botanic name, but I think at the moment it's Nolina recurvata, although I'm not certain. But ponytail plant, I'll get it for the local nursery. Sometimes you get them that are a bit of an orangey or even burgundy red colour in the foliage. Great pot plant, but if you want something a bit curious that looks like it's the Adams family's garden, then ponytail plant.